Boston Celtics guard Jason Tatum went down with a right leg non-contact injury tonight against the Knicks that looked highly concerning for an Achilles tendon rupture. Let's break this down. This angle gives us a view of Tatum's right leg. There's going to be a loose ball and Tatum's quickly going to plant that right foot. In this position, his right foot is in a dorsi flexed position. You can imagine as he's going to push off, his calf muscles are contracting while the Achilles tendon back here is being forcibly lengthened. This is called an eccentric contraction which causes a very high tensile stress. If the force exceeds the tendon's tensile capacity, especially if that tendon has pre-existing degeneration, aka tendonitis, it ruptures. This is a near identical mechanism to Dame Lillard's injury, where he also was responding to a loose ball. The Achilles tendon is located at the back of the leg. It connects the calf muscles to the calcaneus bone of the heel. It's not uncommon for basketball players who have played the whole regular season and games nearly every other night since then to have some level of Achilles tendonitis. Inflammation of this tendon is called tendonitis, which is caused by overuse of the tendon after repetitive movement like running and jumping. These movements can lead to chronic inflammation and micro tears in the tendon fibers, causing it to become weaker and less flexible, subsequently reducing its ability to handle more stress. The area about two to six centimeters above the insertion point is the most common site for Achilles injuries because it has the poorest blood supply compared to the other parts of the tendon. This also means that it takes longer to heal. If enough time is isn't given to healing, one sudden forceful movement like sprinting, jumping, or change in direction can overwhelm the compromised tendon, causing it to completely snap and rupture. So it's likely this played a role in the injury occurring. The fastest way to test for an Achilles tendon rupture is the Thompson's test, which includes laying someone flat and squeezing their calf muscle. If you observe plantar flexion during the squeeze, the Achilles is intact. If there's been a complete rupture, the plantar flexion will be absent. You hate to see the best players get injured in competitive series. Wishing Tatum a safe and speedy recovery.